my neighbor is listening to Sam Smith. So hopefully you cannot hear it or YouTube can't hear it anyway. Hello everyone, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another book comparison, uh, two books by one author. Today it is Colson Whitehead. Um, his new book just came out recently, uh, Harlem, what is it called? Something with an S, Harlem Shuffle. Harlem Shuffle, might be it. Um, so I thought it would be nice since he had a new book recently that came out to discuss two of his previous books. Let's go. The first one today is the Underground Railroad, um, which was published in 2016. Um, I think this is probably his most well-known book. It is historical fiction with a mix of magical realism, as the Underground Railroad in the novel is a physical locomotive. The Underground Railroad is mainly about Cora and a man that she meets called Caesar. Caesar has come up with a plan to escape this plantation in Georgia, and Cora ends up going along with him. While it is incredibly graphic, it is based on true events um, and how incredibly cruel people were, uh, how racism manifested both in the North and the South in different ways. Um, I think the North often gets away with a lot of things, um, but it shows how there are good and bad people, both in the North and the South. Cora and Caesar never knew who they could trust um, because people were very likely to betray them. There's also an interesting storyline of Cora's feelings toward her mother, which are mainly resentment. Um, we know that Cora's mother fled. Um, however, we don't know what happened to her. And Cora grew up being told that her mother just left her at the plantation and found her own freedom and that's something that Cora really struggles with throughout the novel. I enjoy the Underground Railroad. Um, personally, I didn't... I could have done without the magical realism element, um, but it was interesting. Uh, so if you like a combination of historical fiction and magical realism, uh, then this might be a good book for you. <laughs> Second up is The Nickel Boys, obviously also by Colson Whitehead. This was published in 2019. It is also historical fiction based on true events. So it's based on a, a school in Florida where a group of students went and found mass graves of these children who were supposed to be there to be reformed, um, but were just brutalized. It was about a boy named Elwood. He grew up always being told by his parents, you have to be better than the white kids. You have to be twice as good. Um, and he really has taken that to heart and he is, uh, he works hard at school, um, he's very, very polite, and stays out of trouble. Um, we see different protests and uh, rights protests going on and he tries to stay out of them to avoid getting in trouble. When he is accepted into college, he ends up being in the wrong place at the wrong time and ends up going to a reform school. This reform school is segregated Elwood also befriends a boy named Turner, um, and they kind of both embody different political figures, if you will. Uh, Turner follows Malcolm X's beliefs much more, whereas Elwood follows Martin Luther King Jr.'s. And so you see this kind of interesting embodiment of different political beliefs and how to approach <laughs> equality. There's also a Mexican prisoner, I'm going to say, I guess they're so supposed to be students, but they really are prisoners. He is, they never know what to do with him. You see him bouncing around, his name is Jamie, I believe, and uh, he finds it funny, and the other guys think it's funny that he doesn't know, that they don't know what to do with him. Um, but I think it's, it's very interesting because it shows, it just reinforces how these racial lines are so human-made. Um, they're just a social phenomenon. They do not really exist. The Nickel Boys also flashes back and forth between the present and the past, and we see Elwood living his adult life with a sudden twist at the end to find out what really happened when Elwood and Turner attempted to escape. So I really enjoyed uh, The Nickel Boys. I think Colson Whitehead is a brilliant writer. Um, out of the two, I preferred The Nickel Boys. I'm looking forward to reading uh, Whitehead's newest book. Um, let me know if you have read these two books, if you have his newest book already, and what do you think of them? Thank you so much for watching. Bye!